So, uh, hello everybody. I hope you're having a nice night or day um, wherever you are. Today, I'm gonna be making a how to make a stream overlay tutorial. And this is mainly for the YouTube viewers. So um, hi, if you're watching from YouTube, subscribe because only 25% of you are, not even 20%. But um, anyways, today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a stream overlay like I have. And uh, yeah, so um, the first step obviously is to find a background image. I have a few here. You wanna find a background <laughs> image that you really like? Thank you for the follow. You wanna find a background image that you really like, and then you could just put it in the background of the overlay because every overlay needs a background. Even if you just wanna make it like, um. Just a color in the background, just like a bold color, that's fine. So you'll need Photoshop for this. With you know, Photoshop, then I think you're going to make it this far. Right, so you're going to want to make it... Here, I'm turn this down a little bit. So to start off, you're going to want to make it 1980. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. I'm stupid. Don't listen to me. You're going to want to make it 1920 by 1080. And Squarespace sketching. After that, you have your dimensions and you can create your the image. Launch it with Squarespace. Use offer code Spotify for 10% off your After that, of a domain or you can open your file explorer. And wherever you saved your file, make sure you remember where you did. You want to drag it into Photoshop. Luckily, mine already has the dimensions, but if it's not, you can just uh, drag this and it will keep the dimensions and it will snap as soon as you hit the corner of the image. So after that, um, you can actually delete this layer because this layer won't be used whatsoever. Um, once you delete that layer, you want to use the rectangle tool, which is right here. Make sure it has rectangle selected and not any other shape. Um, usually I go up here and I just, um, Make sure that this is selected. This makes sure that um, this, the rectangle is transparent in the middle. And then the stroke is like an outline. So you, I usually select white and you'll see why we do that later. I usually do 18 pixels. You can choose whatever size you want and you can just stretch a random rectangle. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Then you wanna make these dimensions into 1280 by 720. Since that's the size for most game captures. Once you do that, you want to drag the box to the very corner of your image. Then hold shift and press down twice and left, or no, right twice, my bad. Once you do that, you can press control T, which will let you freely move around the shape and resize it. And you can drag it to whatever size you want. This is about the size that I would use. So once you have it ready, just press enter. Once you do that, you can right click your rectangle layer. Also, don't forget to name these. I'm gonna name this game capture. You can name them whatever you want. And go to blending options. Once you go to blending options, you wanna choose a stroke and you can make it however wide you want. I'm gonna do five pixels for this tutorial. And for now, I'm gonna keep it a black outline, which outlines the box if you can't already tell. Once you do that, you can say okay. Go back to blending options. And then you want to put a color overlay. This will actually make the color of your box and you can make it whatever color you want. For this, over, for this tutorial, I'm going to make it purple. Once you do that, you want to right click and duplicate layer. We're going to call this, and we're going to do webcam first. Once you make webcam, press control T you'll be able to resize another box. This one will be where you put your webcam if you have one. I usually let it snap the corner, up twice, left twice, and then it's right here. Don't worry about this, we'll get rid of this later. You wanna to go to the game capture and duplicate it once again. Name it chat, as this will be the chat box. After that, press Ctrl T and resize your box. So what you actually wanna do is hold Shift and resize. 
If you hold shift, it will allow you to freely transform it without it keeping the original dimensions. Once you do that, you can move your chat box wherever you want it to go. It will instantly snap to the same top lining of your game capture and the same side of your webcam. Once you've done that, choose your rectangle select tool, which is the second one down. Once you do that, you'll want to highlight all of the inside of the game capture. Once you've done this, you want to go back down to the original layer and make sure you have it selected. Once you do that, you'll want to select your eraser tool. You can turn the pixels up to however much you want, but you'll have to click on the layer and rasterize it first so you can edit it. Once you've done that, make sure that you have a lot of pixels selected. This is the size of my eraser. It's 464 pixels, just make it really big and erase the entire background. Once you've erased the entire background, you'll want to go to the rectangle select tool and this time select in your webcam. Once you've done that, go back to your eraser tool and erase everything in the webcam. After you've done that, go to your game capture layer. You'll need to rasterize it first, and then you can remove this little line right here. Now you have a clean webcam. Once you've done that, stay on the game capture layer if it's below your chat layer. You'll want to go to the rectangle select tool. Except this time, we will want to choose a black fill and no stroke. Then, you'll want to make a rectangle the size of your chat box. After you've done that, make sure it completely fills the chat box. Then, go right here where it says Opacity. You want to lower the opacity so that it's somewhat transparent. I keep it at 75 so I can read chat really well, but you can make it anyways. You'll want to go to the select and deselect, that way you don't have this box selected. Once you do that, you can go up to the, uh, where is it? The text tool. Feel free to click anywhere as you can drag the text wherever you want later. And then just put your name. Once you put your name there, you can choose a font for it. Make sure you have it highlighted and make sure the size first before you do the font. Make sure the size is good enough to put wherever you want to put it. I'll show you where I'm going to put mine. And just resize it until you get it right. It doesn't have to be right the first time. I'm going to go with 120. Once you've done that, you can select the color tool. Don't worry, it will look like it unhighlighted, but it actually didn't. And then you can click anywhere to copy a color. I want to distinct this purple from the rest of the purples on the grid, so make it a little bit lighter. Once I've done that, I want to change the font to something I really like. Let's say I want it to be the black bones font or maybe i want it to be the camellia font font not find um then you'll right click your layer you'll have been completely done with editing it over here right click your layer and go to blending options i apologize i can't speak right now anyways you want to go to stroke and add a stroke make it however big you want i'm gonna make mine six pixels so it's distinct from all the chat boxes maybe even seven you're going to press OK. And then you'll select the movement tool and move this right above your chat box. Not your chat box, your webcam. Make sure you drag the image above your webcam so that it looks like this. You can move it wherever you want. Matter of fact, I'm actually going to change the color. If the color blends in too well, feel free to change it with the um, color overlay tool. I'm going to say I want it to be somewhat pink. There we go. Once you've chosen a color for your text, you'll be completely done with that. 
Next is for the now playing thing, which is mainly for Osu players, but I'm going to teach you how to do it anyways. You can stop here if you already like your overlay. Now I'm going to go to the rectangle tool yet again, set the fill to transparent, and set the stroke to white. Or you can set the stroke to the purple you used before. Once you've done that, you can make rectangle whatever size you think that it needs to be. Don't worry, you can change this later. I usually lower the amount of pixels that this is, so it can be distinct from the rest of the image. As if now, I'm going to make it 14 pixels. Then you can press Ctrl T and edit dimensions however you want it to be. You can mess around with it until it's perfect, but for now we're going to leave it like this. I want to drag mine to match up with the lower part of my webcam. Or I can match it about right here. But for now, I'm going to put it to the size of where my webcam is. You can double click this and name it um, now playing since it will be the box that you're now playing is in. You can right click it and go to blending options. You'll use this a lot since it has the stroke in it. The stroke we're going to put back to 5 like the rest of the images. I'm going to make sure that I set it to 5. All right. Once you've done that, you want to make another text layer. You want to name it Now Playing. Don't forget that you can use the eyedropper tool once you select the color up here to choose a color from anywhere on the picture. Thank you for the follow. Once you select that, you'll actually have to have the entire thing highlighted. So don't be a dummy like me. You'll use the eyedropper tool again to choose a color. And don't forget to change the size. I'm going to change it to 80 pixels. Then I'm going to drag it down here on top of the box. You can put it wherever you want above the box. I'm going to put it right here. Then I can right click this, go to blending options and add a stroke. Make it the same pixels as your webcam one if you want it to look all clean. This is what it should look like. Again, if you don't like where it's placed, you can move it around to wherever you want. This is my now playing box. If you want, you can fill in the box to be like the chat. I might actually do that. So this is why you name things. This is where the now playing box is. I'm going to put it on the layer below. I'm going to use the rectangle tool again, and this time I'm going to make sure it fills with black and also remove the stroke. Once I do that, I can select everywhere in between the now playing box. Once I've done that, it should be a solid black. Then I want to double click this and maybe name it something like now playing 2 since it's a part of the now playing box. After that, I want to go to the opacity of the layer again and change it to whatever I feel is right. For me, it's 75 to match the chat box. You can add whatever else you want to the image. We could even put an Osu logo here, but for now, I'm going to leave it at this. There is a way to make free stream overlays without using Photoshop, which if this video hits about 10 likes, I'll do it in another video. So if you enjoyed the video for the YouTube viewers, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I appreciate you all coming around to watch my video, and I'll see you guys later.